This is Grandad Got Mojo. Uh, I'm recording this tutorial about how to use the iPhone inside of uh, Samsung as your VR headset. I had a person that had a little bit of problems trying to use it, so I wanted to make sure to make it a pretty clean video again, showing how uh, I get it to work. Uh, it's been pretty foolproof for me, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, I am in my uh, just my desktop, and I have nothing running associated with uh, the VR headset at this point. So you kind of go in a certain uh, a certain set of steps. First of all, you you plug in your iPhone, which I've got here. I've got my iPhone plugged in, and I'm going to go into the iPhone, and I'm going to. I'm going to go into the Ivory, I-V-R-Y, app. There it is. It brings up these. It brings up something that looks like this. And if I go into the settings, just make sure everything is to the right, all the way to the right to the highest settings, except when you get to the inner pupillary distance, uh, we've got somewhere in the middle, or go measure your inner pupillary distance. That's a, that's the distance between your two pupils and your eyes, a setting that you can do if you've got a bigger face or smaller face. Uh, so again, we've got this running. That's all it's running at this point. Now I'm going to go in on my desktop, and I am going to uh, do the next step. The next step is to get Steam running. So I've got Steam installed, so I'm going to click on Steam. I'm not going to talk about the Steam controller at this point. And I voted Sansar <coughs> as a game, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Up here on the right-hand side, you should have the VR uh, app from, from the Sansar store installed. If you click on VR, it will launch it. You'll get this message here that if he wants to update your update your uh, app, but uh, you don't need to do that right this sec. And you get something that looks like this. You go into their kind of setup room for I, Ivory. All right. Uh, the other thing you'll see on on the uh, monitor is the Steam VR uh, is now ready, but there's nothing running. So again, it's into, it just go, puts it into this. Uh, it's actually, this is the Steam app running right now, but uh, with its default app for getting it set up. I click on uh, Play Sansar inside of Steam. And it launches it. And we log in. And you'll notice now here it says on response of Sansar client. And that's only because we haven't clicked the VR headset inside of an experience. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get inside of Samsar. And that's taking a while to load. There it is. Uh, we'll visit uh, my experiences. Uh, Retro Remix, which is a uh, an experimental one I did to try radio and some uh, visual stuff. I'm going to go ahead and it's not going to be out there for very long. I'll be replacing it. And here I am in my in my my uh, app on the desktop. I'm in Samsar. Now what I what I'm going to do here is go over to the right hand side and click VR on off. And if I click that. It will it will say. So, okay, if you want to go ahead and press any button in your controller to match your avatar with your height in VR. I have uh, my Xbox controller hooked up. So I'll go ahead and press one of the buttons. Just press the B button down there on my controller. And that got rid of that message. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but you're, I'm in the world. I'm in Sansar right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm going around in Sansar. So... Um, I could go ahead then at that point and stick it in my my $28 headset, which I'm going to do right now. And there I've got. 
got uh, VR running in my headset now. Not that you can see it, but you can see it on the screen capture I've got on the wall. And there it is. It's a VR headset and very nice. Really works. So um, give it a try, even though I know somebody else has some problems. It's really, if you go through these steps, it works every time for me. So it should work every time for you. Uh, thanks for visiting.